Welcome back to Patentful TV. If you're new here, I'm Monica and this is my daughter, Laura, and we make videos about how we make our quilted go quilts. So it's 2023, which means new year, new online mystery quilt course. Am I right? That's right. So in today's video, we're going to reveal the theme of our new course and we're also going to do a run through of the requirements list. And registrations are now open for our course. So you can head to our website, sign up if you're interested in quilting with a community of like-minded quilters from all around the world. And the requirements list is on our blog. So don't forget to subscribe Subscribe to our channel for more updates. So each year since 2020, Mum and I have been combining our skill set to do an online quilt course. So my love of applique and illustration and Mum's love of quilting and construction and teaching and techniques to bring a quilt course that's extremely fun and also open to anyone all over the world, right? That's exactly right. So in 2020 and 2021, our quilt courses were quilt to go quilts that were just using squares. Then in 2022, so last year, Laura gave me such a challenge to design this offset. Well, she designed it, but it was an offset quilt that I had to work mm. out all the quilt to go techniques for. Yeah, I but said we, we did should it. do yeah. a quilt with all of the quilt as you go techniques, right? That's exactly yeah. right. And we did it and that was amazing. So And then this year I said... Let's do a medallion quilt as you go quilt that doesn't look quilt as you go. That's exactly right. And so, so that was the challenge that I gave you, right? Yeah, that's exactly right. So I've worked it out. Alora's worked out her designs. We know what we're going to do. It's a mystery. And if you don't know what a medallion style quilt is, it's a quilt that starts with a large center square. It can be a center, it can be a square or rectangle, but we're doing a square. That's going to be our feature block. So we're going to have like a center square. Rectangles, rectangles and then a border and then a final border yes and yeah. so you can always make this quilt bigger if you want you can do whatever you want really and so let's talk about the theme shall we okay yeah okay so last year was island home and ode to our island home australia like where we live the natural beauty this year is i valentine which is a quilt all about love yes yes however I like to look at art history. So I am focusing on my designs from medieval devotionals and Valentine cards all the way up until the 1800s. And I like to look at the messages and meanings behind that. And I think that history and memory amalgamate so much in culture. So this theme is about creating our own meaning for I, Valentine. I think that's a really beautiful theme. Oh, I love fun. it. <laughs> I was happy. I was impressed with that. I think it's going to be really, really beautiful and special. Oh, well, mum hasn't even really seen my finished design yet so you're all <laughs> going to be surprised That's right. <laughs> so mum tell everyone about what method of quilt as you go we're going to use so in this quilt we're only going to use two methods we're going to use the no sashing method and the one to three method mm -hmm. so it's going to be really interesting to see how you would construct a medallion style quilt as you go quilt mm. what other techniques can everyone expect to learn so we did get a few questions of if there's going to be patchwork and things like that and we are more applique quilters, wouldn't you say? I think so. Yeah. And so this year, we're going to just keep things really simple. It's going to be a complete applique quilt. Mm -hmm. It's just going to be fusible applique, which is the easiest form of applique. Mm -hmm. So that can be stitched around the edge by mm -hmm. blanket stitch, by machine or a zigzag by machine. Or you can even hand stitch blanket yeah, stitch Yeah, I'm going to be edge. doing a bit of hand sewing. Are you? Yeah, oh, nice. I think it's nice. But I thought I would throw in a couple of other easy applique techniques just to increase the learning experience a little bit more. Mm -hmm. And then each section after it's been applique will be quilted. So we're going to do some beautiful quilting on it. And then all those sections get joined together mm -hmm. using the quilt go techniques that I just yeah. mentioned. Yes, mm. and so in 2020, our first online mystery quilt was a complete applique one, which was Twilight Dreaming. We had a lot of people who never applique before, yep. and they did it, right? They did. So if you are intrigued and you want to know more, this is how the course is going to run. So starting March 15th is when our first video tutorial will come out, and they're all pre-taped. So you can go back and watch them as many times as you like, and they'll be on YouTube indefinitely. We will not be taking them down, so they're That's always right. there. As well as the videos, we will have course notes, which is mm -hmm. all the patterns, all the instructions, a lot of detailed material. Like if you did Island Home with us last year, you know mum really puts a lot of effort. I do. Step-by-step -step photos yep. and everything. So every week you will get your course notes, which you can purchase from our website, or you can pay up front for a full course fee. And then there is an optional Facebook group that you can join. Talk to people, connect with us, Share yeah. what you're making. YouTube comments will be open so you can connect with people there. You can connect with people on our blog, on social yeah. media. 
That's it. Yeah. So we're just going to have lots Easy. of fun. Yeah. Easy. Making this quilt together. That's right. And so now let's chat about the requirements list because in the requirements list, we're using yep. our favorite products for Quilt As You Go. Yep. And just a disclaimer, we're not sponsored by any of these brands at all. Yep. And we also know that there's an array of products out there. And so these are the products that we recommend. So mum, let's tell okay. people what they need. Okay, so first of all, fabrics. So we are using motor grunge fabrics and we have put all of the color numbers in the requirements list for anybody that wants to use the same fabrics as us. Mm -hmm. But you don't have to. You can come up with your own color combination and we've kept the combination really simple. So we're going to use a beautiful pale blue grunge background. Mm -hmm. Just make sure that your background fabric is non-directional. So you could either just use a plain fabric, um, or a solid, you can use a tiny small print, but make sure that it is not directional. Um, that's really important for quilt as you go quilts. With the colors, we are using, first of all, some greens. So we just have a dark, a medium, and a light green. Mm -hmm. You always need your darks, mediums, and lights to really give your quilt um, depth and interest. Then we're going to use a dark red, a softer red. We have a pink and a pale pink. Then we have a beautiful gold, a lighter gold, and a white. Mm -hmm. And that's all it is. So it's basically 10 fabrics. So with your 10 fabrics, you need either 30 centimeter pieces off the bolt or 12 inches off the bolt, which I think is a third of a yard. That's gonna be plenty of fabric. We wanna make sure that nobody's going to run out. But as we said, Batiks would look great. You can use small prints. You can use your stash. You mm -hmm. don't have to use exactly what we're using. Yeah, you could really do whatever you like. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Just keep all of your fabrics to um, either mottled or very small or tiny prints so mm -hmm. that the applique really stands out. It lifts off the background. Yeah. Yeah. Um, now, all of those requirements are actually in the requirements list. So I'm just basically talking about what you actually need. The next thing from there is you'll need your backing fabric. So that's what's on the back of the quilt. Make sure that your backing fabric, once again, is non-directional. Use a small all-over print that ties in with the color of your background fabric on the top of the quilt. Mm -hmm. That way you can use the same thread to do your quilting on the top and on the bottom. And that just means that we're going to have no tension issues. You don't have to worry about trying to balance a light and a dark thread. Just use the same thread for the mm. quilting. And so that's, this is again, is your th thought process of functionality, simplicity, and keeping it easy. That's what I try yeah. to do. I've been yeah. teaching for so many years and I've just learned, let's just keep it simple. Yeah, keep it simple. Let's make the theme for this year simple. Really simple. Let's Kiss. Keep it simple. Yeah, keep stupid. it stupid. <laughs> <laughs> so now with the applique, you will need a fusible web. So there are many different brands out there. And in the comments, let us know what your favorite brand is mm -hmm. because other people that are new will be like, I don't know what brand to get. And if someone in the group has recommended it or in the comments, mm -hmm. it's going to make it easier for everyone. Our favorite is Steamer Seam. So it's light steamer seam too make sure that you choose the light variety there's another steamer seam and it doesn't say light on the packet the glue's a little bit too heavy in that so always stick with the light one mm, gums up your needle yeah that's right exactly yeah. so the light variety mm -hmm. when it comes to sewing the applique you're just going to need some thread so what we're going to do is we're just going to do a simple blanket stitch around the edge of our applique and so therefore I've just chosen, um, it's like a dark grey or a charcoal colour mm -hmm. and I'm using a Madeira brand thread. So make sure the thread that you're using, um, I'm using a, a shiny rayon machine embroidery thread mm -hmm. that um, it's about, a, it, it is a 50 weight. So don't go with anything that's too thick, um, just a nice nice good quality brand that's our little doggy running along there if you just heard something in the background um, and then I like to use a bobbin fill in the bobbin and the reason why I do this is because a bobbin fill is a finer thread normally there are 40 weight so mm. that just means that you're not going to get a big chunky stitch which is going to bunch up under the foot mm -hmm. as you're sewing if you did decide that you wanted to do the little zigzag around the edge which we will show everybody how to do this. Mm -hmm. You're probably better off choosing threads that match your fabric. So just go with your rayon machine embroidery threads. There's plenty of brands. As I said, we're using Madeira. Mm -hmm. There are other brands. So let everybody know in the comments what brand you're going to be using. 
to do the quilting, um, like I said before, we're just using the same color thread on the top and bottom. So that's just a rosette thread. Yep. Allura loves the rosette thread. I They're do. Really good, yeah. So back in yep. the day when Mum and I used to work at a quilting store together, rosette was what I always recommended to everyone. Yeah. Never had it. any problems. Never had any that's issues. Right. But having said that, there's plenty of brands out there. As we said, we're not endorsed by anybody. We're We're just letting you know what we use. So when it comes to needles, you're just going to use two different um, kinds of needles. You'll need a size 80 quilting needle. Mm -hmm. Um, I'm actually going to be using a titanium one. I found those when we were doing it. And have you used it before? No, I haven't. But I've heard good um, reports. People say that they stay sharper for longer Mm -hmm. and the needle will last longer. So let you know as we're making the quilt. Yeah, we'll give it a review. (laughs) And then for the machine app, I'm using a size 75 machine embroidery needle and we also found these ones I found at last course anti-glue needles so that means that when you are stitching through the fusible web glue you it's not going to gum up the needle and they actually work really well cool. so highly recommend those ones there now batting so when it comes to batting just use a nice flat low loft batting something that's not going to melt under the iron because mm-hmm. when we're doing quilt as you go we are um, doing a lot of ironing mm-hmm. we always try and make sure that the iron doesn't touch the batting just in case it does try to choose something that's not going to melt under the iron so I just use cotton batting so cotton yep. batting with a scrim this year we're going to be using Matilda's own pure cotton batting mm-hmm. That's um, batting from Australia. So we thought we'd, um, of course, support Australian company. (laughs) Yeah. Last year we actually used Warm and Natural. So that's an American brand, um, very readily available. And it was a great product. Yeah, that was a great product too. So Yeah, Yeah, it was a really good product. And a lot of these products, like if you're international, you could probably find through Googling. But as well, we've had a lot of quilt stores say that they're open to helping anyone source anything and then they can post it to you. So you could always do something like that. That's exactly right, yes. All right, so let's talk about the equipment that people will need. Okay, so as I said, I like to keep things simple. So you're going to need your patchwork ruler, so a 24-inch by 6.5-inch ruler. That's the standard one most people start with. You're Mm -hmm. going to need your cutting mat, Mm -hmm. and you'll need a rotary cutter. And in this course, I'm actually going to show everybody how to cut out all of their squares and rectangles because they're all different sizes and they're bigger pieces. So I want to make sure that everybody cuts everything Mm -hmm. out the way it should be cut out. I always try to avoid the word perfect because really... I don't like the word perfect. None of us are perfect. Yeah, it's it's like it doesn't exist. That's exactly right. Um, You're also going to need some scissors. So you'll need your standard scissors, some fabric scissors, some nice scissors for cutting out applique shapes. You're going to need some safety pins. Mm -hmm. Um, So try to get the quilter's safety pins. That's what we're going to do to hold our layers together when we go to do the quilting. Some fabric glue. So I always like to use the Soline fabric glue pen. You can also use Roxanne's glue based if you like that. Or you can just use like a kid's glue. As long as it's washable, non-toxic and acid free. Acid free. (laughs) That's exactly right. Always test things um, first of all to be on the safe side. Mm -hmm. You're going to need some batting joining tape. That is actually optional because you can like hand stitch Mm -hmm. if you want to the batting together. Mm -hmm. I like to use batting joining tape. So that's just a two inch wide nylon tape Mm -hmm. that you iron over two pieces of batting that you've buttered together and it just holds them together. Different brands. I'm using Matilda's own. And then you're going to need some marking, fabric marking pencils. So the one that I really like to use is, first of all, the, um, what is it, the Soline. Soline Trio. Yep, Soline Trio. It's got the three different colours mm-hmm. in it, pink, grey and white. You can get that just as a single pen and then buy the separate leads mm-hmm. and swap them out if you want to. And I'm, it's ceramic, isn't it? It is ceramic. Yeah, so it's yes. quite, it's really nice that's, and nice and smooth. That's exactly right. And so you should make sure when you're using those, don't press too hard. Mm-hmm. You can always rub it out or it will wash out. So mm-hmm. it's nice and safe for your fabric. The other sew line pen that I really like to use at the moment or the marker is the duo marker. Mm-hmm. So that's the one you've got um, one pen that's kind of like a brown color. Mm-hmm. You mark that onto your fabric. It's good mm-hmm. when you're quilting because it helps yep. you to be able to see your marks a little bit better. And then you use the other pen to wipe the mark off. Mm-hmm. That's quite good. Um, and sometimes in the video maybe I might get out a friction pen Um, friction pens I always say uh, use at your own risk some people like them some people don't but Mm. we'll talk about that in the the course (laughs) 
When it comes to machine accessories, well, you need you will need um, your machine in good working order, and we're just going to need an open toe foot for the applique. Seriously, go and get one. These make such a difference. It it provides clear vision. You will be able to easily see where you're sewing, mm -hmm. and a walking foot. So this is my walking foot. It looks a bit different to other walking feet, but all brands have walking feet that look a little bit different. Yeah. So you will need that for the quilting. Um, you and just your standard feet, standard sewing supplies. Um, can we think of anything else we're going to need? Oh, yes, I did think of one thing. Mm -hmm. Um, a light box is optional, isn't it? Yes, yeah. yes, but if you ca if you can't get a light box, you can always make one. We made one one time, we're we just did. using like a clear bit of plastic and a box, and we put a light underneath it. Yeah, that's light exactly. box, <laughs> yeah, light, light box, yes, you always stick exactly it to right. a window. Oh, yeah, that's right. I mean, it does help. Some people actually, some people have said they got an app on their iPad as well. Oh, yes. So you'll also need a printer because all the course notes are PDF. And mm. then you can also print your applique shapes straight from your computer onto Fusible Web. So that's basically everything you need for our 2023 online mystery quilt course. Yep. And so registrations are now open on our website. It's 110 Australian dollars if you'd like to join and pay up front. Or you can just wait until the course notes are released weekly, which is 11 Australian dollars. Once you register, you can join the Facebook group and start connecting with other quilters, or you can connect with everyone through the comments. So we hope you're excited because this course is going to be very fun. Right? It's going to be it's going to be so much fun. So if yeah. you would like to recommend any products, um, if you've got any questions, just leave us a comment. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Bye. Bye.